Pooja, you are a storyteller, going to narrate you a story, Room on the Room, written by Julia Donaldson and illustrated by Axel Shuffler. This story is about a witch who has a magical room and she gives space to the needy on her broom because she has a room on the broom. So, to enjoy this story, get ready. The witch had a cat and a very tall hat and long ginger hair which she wore in a plate. How the cat purred and how the witch grinned as he sat on their broomstick and flew through the wind. But how the witch wailed and how the cat spat when the wind blew so wildly it blew off the head. A drown! cried the witch and they flew to the ground. They searched for the head but no head could be found. Then out of the bushes on thundering paws, oh, there bounded oh, oh, a oh, dog oh, wait, 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 with a hat in his jaws. He dropped it politely, then eagerly sat. As the witch pulled the hat firmly down on her head. Oh, I am a dog, oh, oh, as keen as can be. Oh. Is there room on the groom, boo boo, for a dog like me? Oh, yes, yes, cried the witch, and the dog clambered on. The witch tapped the broomstick and whoosh, they were gone. Over the fields and the forests they flew. The dog wagged his tail and the stormy wind blew. The witch laughed aloud. Same like cat and dog, she gave space to a parrot also on her broom because he gives him his lost bow. Over the reeds and the rivers he flew. Suddenly his wand fell down. Down! cried the witch and they flew to the ground. A frog, a frog found the wand of witch. Then witch, then witch gave space to the frog on her broom. The witch tapped the boomstick and whoosh! The frog jumped for joy and the broom snapped in two. Down fell the cat and the dog and the frog. The witch's half broomstick flew into a cloud and the witch heard a roar that was scary and loud. <laughs> <laughs> I am a dragon, as mean as can be. No! No! cried the witch, flying higher and higher and higher. Flying down to the ground, she looked all around, but no help could be found. The dragon drew nearer and licking his lips said, Maybe this once I will have witch without chaps. But just as he planned to begin on his feast, from out of a ditch rose a horrible beast. It was tall, dark and sticky and feathered and furred. It had four frightful heads. It had wings like a bird and its terrible voice when it started to speak was a yowl and a growl and a croak and a shriek. It tripped and squelched as it strode from the ditch and it sat 
to the dragon. Hey, buzz off! That's my witch. The dragon drew back and he started to shake. I'm sorry, he spluttered. I made a mistake. It's nice to have met you, but now I must fly. And he spread out his wings and was off through the sky. Then down flew the bird and down jumped the frog. Down climbed the cat and phew, said the dog. And oh, thank you. Oh, thank you. Thank you. You saved my life, my friends. The grateful witch cried. Without you, I'll be in that dragon's side. <laughs> then she filled up her cauldron and said with a grin, Find something, everyone throw something in. So the frog found a lily. The cat found a corn. The bird found a twig. And the dog found a bone. They threw them all in and the witch stirred them well. And while she was stirring, she muttered a spell. Iggity, tiggity, zaggity, zoom! Then out rose. Iggity, zaggity, zaggity, zoom! Again. Iggity, zaggity, zaggity, zoom! A truly magnificent room with seats for the witch and the cat and the dog, a nest for the bird and a shower for the frog. Yes, 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 cried the witch and they all clambered on. The witch tapped the broomstick and whoosh, they were gone. So, this is the wonderful story of the room on the broom. And the borrow of the story is, a friend in need is a friend indeed. Hope you have liked these story students. Thank you so much.